This episode of Rob's Random Roms is brought to you by Rogue's Apparel, original, custom, hand-printed t-shirts of the highest quality. Shop Rogue's Apparel on Twitter or on Facebook. What's up, YouTube? Robert the Corner Drap here, and I'm back again with another episode of Rob's Random ROMs. This is where I set Google's random number generator to the number of NES ROMs that I own, which is 549, and then I play this th that game. Today, we actually have one that, to be honest, looks kind of like a Inuyasha knockoff. And that game is called The Legend of Cage. This game was uh, developed by Taito and Imagine Studios and then published in uh, North America by Taito in Japan by Square Enix for the 3D SVC and also Imagine Studios over in Europe. Uh, like I said, this, but I mean, look at it. Tell me that doesn't look like Enoyasha and Kagome. I mean, what what do you even do with that? I, I, after that, you just I guess you just got to go into the gameplay, see what this thing has to say for itself. Legend of Cage. Wow, that's a shitty ninja. Okay, whoa. Whoa, friendo. This is like crouching tiger hidden dragon bullshit. This is definitely anime. Oh, and I die. <laughs> wow. He was he was an excitable little friend, wasn't he? He got a he got that vertical. I mean, I wish I had that vertical. How do you how do you even? How do you even under that even? I mean I don't know where I'm supposed to be going or who I'm supposed to kill or what have you, but I'm having fun. Got that diagonal shot there. And I, I, I really salute a game f in, in 1985 for having the ability in a... in what amounts to a uh, old kind of style f for having the, the multi-direction... Oh! Hello, Samurai. I killed that guy. I mean, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going here. But I'm having I'm having fun with it. I mean, the isn't that the whole aim of a game is to let you have fun? Oh, wow, that one followed me almost, didn't it? Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention. I wonder how, how long I could stand here and just keep wailing on him. I was just going to keep standing there, but he seemed to have my number there. I mean, we're going to keep going. Because, okay, so there's our protagonist, uh, our, our, our love interest. The ninja star, the ninja star thing seems to be my, my, my main, my main defense. It's like, keep, keep throwing, keep hucking shurikens. That'll work. It's a one-shot kill, it seems. 
on both ends. But you can deflect it. Mm -hmm. Wow! Got that dead shot on me. Let's see what we got here. Double kill. I think that big tree was where I started. I am the tree master. Mm -hmm. I probably should have worn a ninja shirt for that, but eh. You know, I mean, it's not an unfun game, but I think we kind of discovered what we're going, what we got here. I mean, there's, it's very simple. It was fine. I didn't hate it, and. We got we we got to have a little bit of fun uh, being ninjas. So, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, share all those wonderful things down below. Hit the bell for the notifications so that way you know when I upload these vi these wonderful nuggets of fun. Uh, check out my friends Rogues Apparel. They are wonderful people. Uh, again, not sponsored by them. Just love talking about their stuff. They're they're good good people. Uh, check out my friends, uh, the Two Marks crew, and Danielle, who will have their traditional annotations in, at the uh, end in the credits. And I will see you all next time. You know, I actually kind of wish I could do that, uh, that Naruto hand thing, because being able to do all that ninjutsu uh, hand shit would be kind of offsetting if you were at a if you were at like a, a cash register and you just and had your camera on focus because yeah that's a thing